Hey guys, welcome to MRCS Hacks. My name is Annika and this is a surgical series where we break down topics for the MRCS exams. So let's get started. Today's topic is the sacral plexus and I think this is something that is not very well taught and hopefully this little hack can make you visualize it a bit better. Okay, so let's start off with the, the simple layout of your diagram. The first is you write down all the spinal roots, so from L4 down to S4, okay? Um, and there are two divisions to the nerve roots from in the sacral plexus. First is five nerves from the ventral side and three nerves from the dorsal side of the sacral plexus. Um, before we begin, it's important that we lay out the two large nerves coming off either side of the sacral plexus. Okay, so the first one is the sciatic nerve coming down from L4 down to S3. Okay, and on the other side, it's the tibial nerve also from L4 down to S3 which joins the sciatic nerve. And remember that L4 to S2 is also the common perineal nerve, okay? So it's very easy. All you have to do is draw a straight line that covers three lines from the top, okay? So the first one is covering L4 to S1. Let's duplicate that and draw one down, covering L5 to S2. Let's duplicate that, S1 to S3, Let's duplicate that, S2 to S4, and then the last one covers only two nerve roots, S3 and S4, okay? Now, the nerves that you have to write down are, firstly, the nerve to the quadratus femoris, okay? The next one is the nerve to the obturator internus, okay? The third one is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. The next one, uh, many people remember, is S2, 3, 4, keeps the poo off the floor and it's the pudendal nerve, okay, which supplies the perineum area. And the last one is the nerve to the coccygeus and the levator ani, so C plus LA, okay. Now, very easy, you can, you can draw these dots to make sure you can quickly visualize where these nerves are coming from in terms of their spinal roots, okay. Now, on the dorsal side, we have only three nerves. And similarly, the first two cross three nerve roots and the last one crosses two. So we'll draw the first one. Okay, so L4, L5, S1. Let's duplicate that. L5, S1, S2. And let's duplicate that to cover the last two, which is S1 and two. Okay, now let's just move this down here so it's easier to draw. So the first one on this side is the superior gluteal nerve, okay? And the next one is the inferior gluteal nerve. And the last one is the nerve to the piriformis, which is also one of the external rotators of the hip, okay? Again, if you want to make it easier, you can draw out these circles to show you which nerve roots they are actually crossing. And that's it. That is the sacral plexus. Um, hopefully this helps you out and we'll see you in the next topic. Thanks.